back here on Tennis Channel. AJ Kohler and Kelly Smith have made their way to the court. They are at the top of your screen. And Colin Johns and Catherine Parento, well, they were on the bottom of your screen. Now you see the ladies on the right-hand side, main on the left as we have this Constellation semifinal. It's a race to 15. So first team to 15, win by two, moves on. Now uh, note that that's it, just one game. And you move on and you get a chance to play Grinch Kina and Wilson for the bronze. Yeah, the other thing, just watching warm-ups here, myself who has played tennis since a very young age and most of the players on this court, you're used to warming up against your opponent. and pickleball, you warm up with your partner in doubles and it's like, what is happening? So, Tennis Channel, we warm up with our partners here at Pickleball. So here we go. Switch sides at eight here, Dave. Parento and Johns on the left. Kelly Smith and AJ Kohler on your right. Oh. Oh, that was just too easy <laughs> yeah. for Colin Johns. Kohler loves his lobs. That one didn't get anywhere. And obviously the big difference in this duo, as you see them align there, is Colin Johns is playing the right side of the court. Catherine Parento on the left, usually it's the reverse of that. The male player is usually on the left unless he or is a lefty. So you'd see Tyler Lung on the right, certainly. But Colin is one of the best right side players. Is when he plays with Ben, he plays over there. So put your strengths where your strengths are, and Catherine can do more than good. She can do great on the left side. Callie puts that away to get the side out. Dave, what's what's tougher, the physical or mental switch here for Kohler and Smith? Because you know, mentally, you you were 15 minutes ago playing for a shot to be playing for the championship. And now you're out here playing a race to 15 to try to play for a bronze. Uh, it's mental by far. I mean, these are two finely conditioned athletes. The disappointment at game point in the first game that was very close. And, you know, they also know that they've pushed that team really hard three times, don't have a win to show for it. Now there's another freaking Johns on the other <laughs> side of the court. I mean, you got to overcome all of that. Um, these are two people having played a bunch with both of them. They want to win. So they are able to compartmentalize and come back. But it, it's hard. You want to get going and get off to a good start. But the physical will not be a problem for these two at all. 1-0-2 and make it 0-1-1. One, one. Second serve. Colin would like to have that one back. For sure, we watched him warm it up. He didn't miss a third. No. That's exactly what he was working on. <laughs> exactly. Come on, man. Practice. Take it to the stage. Oh, just sick <laughs> by Catherine Parento. You don't see clean winners at the kitchen line off the ground. Look at this two-hander. Shut up, Catherine. That's beautiful. Kohler was kind of leaning yes. the other way, so he couldn't recover. Point. And that's what a two-handed backhand gives you. It gives you the disguise. You can make it look like it's going in the middle, and that's what Kohler read on that paddle. And you just two bring more two. left hand into that shot to be able to roll it. That's really well done. Point. And that's long, so now Parento and John's up 3-1. 3-1-2. Colin John says, this is why I am awesome on the right side of the court. Goes Scorpion with the paddle up in front of his face. And he didn't even have to move his feet no. on any one of those three shots. Nope. Perfect paddle position. Takes care of everything. Side out. Same guy. Side out gets it back to Smith and Kohler.
Second serve. We'll go to the second serve at 1-4-2. So these are two energy players. You talked about the mental. Can they get that energy level up, too? That's the other thing that's got to come with this because Parento and Johns just grinded out a 16-14 win. They want this. That stays in, and then the ATP from Colin Johns. Very patient. He has a forehand that does have that curl that you need, and you can see him just shape to hit the outside of the ball and bring it in. Really well done. So the serve back for Parento and Johns, leading it 4-1. Oh, that was a great play by Parento, and then, oh, man. <laughs> that wasn't even a thank you. That's like, hey, okay, look at that shot. <laughs> Kohler, the lob was beautiful. The put away, not so much, but uh, he'll take it. So 4-1-2. Serve going back over to Smith and Kohler. Yeah, Callie Smith can hit one, four, the one. ball as hard as anyone on this court. Beautiful finish. Yeah, nice put away there by Kohler to make it 2-4. And they will do a side change at eight. Second serve. Move to the second server. Sitting here thinking about our conversation Good, about Bainbridge Island earlier, Dave Fleming. Of course, the birthplace of pickleball, and wondering if we get to a point someday where there's a pickleball Hall of Fame. Does it go in Bainbridge Island, or does it go in Naples, Florida, or or a or a other third spot? There is a Pickleball Hall of Fame. There and is. There is, and uh, it has been in the Seattle area. Okay. And uh, Three, four, the Hall of Fame class Three, four, was uh, just named. We can get that uh, get that out, and we'll, we'll add that in uh, here later in the broadcast. That's awesome. So yes, indeed. Off and running, and Colin Johns is furious with how many balls have hit the tape here. Uh, he doesn't want to hear about Hall of Famers. <laughs> well, his brother Ben certainly would be a pickleball Hall of Famer. Definitely uh, like his chances, but he's 23 years old, so uh, got a few hundred thousand games of pickleball left to play. Reminder, this is a race to 15. And you got to win by two, and that's it. Your winner moves on, loser is out. No point. And that is long. Yeah, that's a ball. Colin jumped in there with his backhand and just sort of left the ball up, but he got a mistake out of Callie Smith, uncharacteristic. Playing so solid today. That does stay in. So that's that ball that AJ was working on against Ben, where he jumps in front of you and flicks it back across your body. That was beautifully done.
And Collins. Collins puts it away. <laughs> Some sweet justice as the net sets him up. Yeah. Nice look at it from the baseline. Again, much like that third game and a two out of three, you want to have that lead at the switch. You know, we talked about the mental part of this game. It's just so comforting to be like, okay, we're, we have less to do than they do. Nice put away there by A.J. Kohler. He didn't get all of it, and somehow Colin Johns, who has some of the best defense in the game, swing and miss there. That was interesting. Kohler showing off the backhand. Point stays alive, though. Look at the defense from Johnson. Yeah. Oh, Johns lets it go, and it stays in. That's a beautiful finish right there. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely from Callie Smith. Holland goes up to get it, get it, then goes down to get it. And unable to get it up over the tape. Six, six, one. Point. And that's gonna break the tie, so seven, six, one. Yep, need a better volley on the fourth shot there. Seven, Left six, it one. up, and Kohler came and just cracked it. Chance to get the lead at the switch here. Great hands on both sides. Kelly went and got it, and then the foot fault. That was going to be out anyway. So either way, Smith and Kohler come away with a point, and they've got an 8-6 lead as we go to side switch in this race to 15. Well, the Constellation semifinal in the mixed pro doubles division here in Cincinnati is tight. 8-6, Smith Kohler on top of Catherine Parento and Colin Johns. And they switch sides and continue to control the serve. Yes, I'll recall. 8-6-1. 8-6-1. Thomas Wilson and Yana Grinchkina awaiting the winner of this race to 15. Second serve. Moves it to 8-6-2. Great spot by Colin Johns there. Gets it up above the paddle of A.J. Kohler. A.J. Kohler who, in addition to playing Eight, six, hockey while he was at Colorado Boulder. He also attended a few classes, got a degree in civil engineering. That's gonna go long. So back to Parento and Johns at 6-8. Not much you could do with that. No, they just got to hit better thirds and get up to the kitchen line. That's where this team will be successful. We've seen some of the Six, eight, great dinking. Parento has one of the sweetest thirds. We'll see it right there. Nice job by Parento to get that one. Yeah. And then finally, the firefight won by Kohler. Yeah, you saw Parento slide to the left to play the one ball and then did that little 
ballerina hop in the middle there to keep it going, and then Kohler wins the head up. Point. And Smith and Kohler able to push the lead now to 9-6. And that is definitely a point carrying over as Johns was not happy about the ball going off the tape again and then misses the return and wisely calls timeout. Sometimes yeah. you got to just settle yourself down. Unlike Ben, Colin is not averse to calling timeout. No, I mean, I think some players have the idea that I am granting you momentum in your head. Like, you've made me have to question where I sit here. I don't aspire to that thinking myself. I think the right thing to do is stop momentum, especially in a game of runs that we saw a lot in singles yesterday. We're seeing it again here today in the mixed doubles. And if you're not in the right headspace because of something that happened, that's got to be a timeout. You get two of them, use one, come back. Well, 9-6 is not as commanding a lead in a race to 15 as it would be in a normal game. Still work to be done by Smith and Kohler. Still time for Parento and Johns to work their way back here. But Smith and Kohler out of the timeout, able to push it to 10-6. Yeah, nice job across court. Colin Johns looking for something in the middle and gets tagged. Colin makes it look so easy, yes. yeah, like such little foot movement, but yet so deadly. Well, he saw that exact same attack and said, get that out of here, Cali. And encouraging Catherine to go, go there, and she did, did. So they get the ball back, back. Here we go. Nice. Well, nice answer by Colin. Oh! Yeah! Wow, that was a really nice save by Catherine, but then AJ puts it away. Yeah, and you might wonder why the heck did AJ not hit an overhead there? It's because he was staring right into the sun and had to let it bounce. So, smart play there, and then AJ playing to the crowd. So the side out gets it back to Smith and Kohler, five away from advancing. Oh, ho, ho, Parento! <laughs> Crowd admiring that effort. No doubt. They're gonna talk to the crowd and then Catherine lights you up. They're gonna they're gonna talk back. AJ's always having fun. Side out gets it back to Parento and Johns. They've gotta start closing some ground here though. Oh, trust the drop volley on the high drive by Johns. That's a it's easier to drop that if it's middle or a little lower. That's one he should have just smashed and put away. That's long, so two straight points now to close it to 8-10. 8-10-1. That's the combination Colin wanted. He wanted to go backhand, and he knew he'd get the ball back where he did. He just missed it. Yep. How about that serve? Yeah, and Parento plays faster than anybody. She is ready. 9-10-2. Chance to tie it up. Both Johns and Parento still stuck on the baseline. Colin go with the ATP. 
And they finally are able to get up to the kitchen. Unbelievable defending. Oh. And they get away with the ball that was going out. You heard Collins scream no. So after all that defense. And that probably affected Catherine's shot too as she was on that ball. And then hear your partner scream, which she was right. That was definitely going deep. Well, they break the first serve, so move to 10 9 2. And they'll get the serve back. Yeah, the way too high third from Kohler to start that, so uh, now they've been on 10 for a minute. Yes, they have. We move to 9 10 1. Something's going on with Callie Callie's, in the corner. Just, uh, she's just wiping herself down yeah, with the towel anyway. there. 9-10-1. Oh, my. Second serve. Oh, boy. <laughs> Colin is having to walk over and pick up the ball after that, too. Wry smile from Callie Smith there at the Nine, net. 10 2 Colin going back and forth with Kelly. And then Kohler finally hits one that Parento can't defend. Yeah, you heard her say, watch when she left that dink up, that one right there. They were able to get a couple back, but you're still in so much trouble there. So the dink battle won by Smith and Kohler. And Kohler has been taking that third on the run and hasn't been making it the last few. 10, 9, 2. They've been stuck on 10 for a little bit here. Third shot a lot, but it's a better side for vision. And a well played overhand there by Colin Johns. Yeah, placement over power on the overhead in pickleball. Really nice angle found 9, 10, by 1. Johns there. So again, a chance to tie. That's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, that just rolled up the tape right <laughs> yeah. out of bounds. Yeah, and that was an absolute sitter that would have nine, nodded ten, us two. at 10. So 9, 10, 2. And the side out gets it back to Smith and Kohler. Beautiful attack by Callie Smith there. AJ and Catherine, the flip up by Kohler. Oh, Colin goes between the legs to return that one. And then puts it into the tape. And Kohler and Smith are finally off of that 10. Again, it's the Kohler lob that flips the whole script one. on that particular point. Back to the live action in the overhead there by Colin Johns. <laughs> Kelly entertaining the crowd, saying not hard enough. Yeah, you asked what their mental approach to this match would be. They've played very loose, obviously. You have a 9-2. We're just going to call the score and play ball here.
Nice defensive shot there by Parento. A few of them. And then Kelly miss hits it and sails it long. She has that very flat, compact swing, and you'll see she gets underneath it just a little bit there. Then get on top of it. Slid it well deep. Second serve. Colin got a little bit crossed up there. Another great attack from Callie Smith. A little nice variety of shots she's using up at the kitchen. Again, if the Nine dink is two. down, that can't happen. 9-11-2. And now it'll go to 11-9-1. That's just a great ball by AJ. Not just the location, but he cut it. So that ball's not going to come up, and it's going to spin away from the opponent, in this case, Colin Johns. That's well done. Catherine into the net, and it's 12-9. Three points away from a birth in the bronze medal match. And there you saw Callie Smith change the angle of the paddle at the last second to catch Parento. Colin executes that perfectly. You hate to say watch it again to your partner. That means you've left it up two in a row. Like watch it, watch it again. There will not be a third watch as Colin Johns beautifully put that away. So they'll get the serve back. 9 12. They've been stuck on nine forever. Not changing sides, though. They're going to stick with what they've started. That's a great handle there. Oh, Catherine, I don't know how she got that one. Oh, my. Did that catch the line? <laughs> yes. Wow. Out, the, <laughs> the, 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 the walk of disgust by Colin Johns there after this thing stays in. That just catches <laughs> the line. <laughs> Timeout, 12-9 in favor of Smith and Kohler. Well, they call it a race to 15, but I, over the years, I've noticed these races to 15 are not really races. They are slugfests, and that's what we're in right now. Yeah, if you call a marathon a race. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's quite a marathon. It might be like a 3,200 yeah. meter. Yeah, 14 laps around the track, boys and girls. Let's, it's, let's it's see. A, yeah, it's a 10K, yeah. maybe 3,200 meter yeah. on the track, 10K. Right now it's 12-9 in favor of Smith and Kohler with the serve and make it 13-9. They're two away. 13-9-1. I can hear Colin talking about the net as he goes back to the receive here. Second serve. So we'll move to 13-9-2. 13-9-2. Kohler and Smith would love to just end this right here. They do not want to give the serve back. And now we do have the match point. Yeah, and the body language on this side, not good. 14-9-2. Third shot lob on match point. Oh. They will have to wait because the serve goes back over to Parento and Johns with their backs squarely against the wall. Second serve. Go to 14 9, or 9 14 2, excuse me. 9 14 2. Match point number two coming your way. Yeah, just nowhere to pick up momentum since uh, literally about 15 minutes of actual time. They just have not scored. Oh. 
That's how it's going to end. Parento puts it into the net. And Smith and Kohler, they bounce back after losing to Annalie Waters and Ben Johns by the dispatching of Catherine Parento and Callan Johns in the race to 15. And they will play for the bronze medal here on center court against Thomas Wilson and Yana Grinch Kina. So, so if you love Smith and Kohler, you get three in a row here on center court. Well, I'm sure their families are not upset. No. I mean, they would have liked to have seen them have a better result in the first one. But yeah, and I think as.